The Last of Us, inspired by the critically acclaimed post-apocalyptic PlayStation video game, comes to life as an all-new haunted house at Halloween Horror Nights. We here at the Nights of Horror are very excited about this. We're going to take a look at that video for you guys so you guys can see the announcement. We're going to break down the press release that was sent to us and then give our thoughts right after this intro. Guys, I'm telling you, it's real. Why are you so obsessed with this universal legend? <laughs> you think I'd be used to them by now? Thanks for paying attention, Jordy. Sorry. All right, just skip to exactly 32 seconds in the video Please, and I- another conspiracy theory? There's no way to be done in the park. Hey, are you guys seeing this? The Last of Us, the video game now turned TV series, is coming to Halloween Horror Nights for the 2023 season at both Orlando and Hollywood. But what I found interesting and I'm very excited for is they're focusing more on the video game rather than the TV show. Uh, and I'm super stoked for that. So let's let's break down this press release. I got Sammy here. I know, Sammy, you're a fan of The Last of Us as well. I know you've seen some gameplay. I know you've watched the show. Um Quick thoughts about reactions about The Last of Us coming to Horror, Horror Nights. Yeah, I, I'm super excited to see this uh, IP come to uh, Horror Nights on both coasts. Um, fun fact, it's actually one of the only PlayStation games I've ever played, uh, or PlayStation exclusive games that I've ever played, um, was The Last of Us. I played it a, a, probably now about five, six years ago. Um, I know the game is coming off its 10th year anniversary, but I played it five, six years ago, I think during one of my winter breaks when I came to visit my sister um, because she had a PlayStation 4 and I was had nothing else to do during my winter vacation. So I was like, she had to work and stuff. So while she was working all day, I would just play. So, um, you know, she'd be gone. So I'd be like, all right, cool. I got the big screen in the front room. Let me just dial it up. So um, really big, really big, uh, really big game that I enjoyed. Um, as well as like you had mentioned that it's not going to be just focusing like on the TV show because I think there was a little bit of like is this going to be the Naughty Dog game? Is this going to be the Max HPO whatever it may be called <laughs> um, TV show? Um, so I'm excited that it's going to be paying homage to the the game which came out I think about ten years ago now. So super excited for that. I just re we just recently re played the remaster version earlier this year and a little bit at the end of last year on uh, Nights of Horror Gaming. And uh, that was so fun. We got to play through that as the show was going on to see all the similarities that they took from the game to put on the show. Um, big fan of both. I mean, the story is phenomenal. The story is great. Uh, there's a lot to work with. A very big open world game. Um, a lot of locations to go to. So I'm excited to see how they bring the world of The Last of Us to life. To see the clickers. To see other of the uh, the creatures that they have within The Last of Us universe. Uh, to see hopefully Joel and Ellie in the game in the uh, from the game in the sh in the maze. That would be really cool. Um, and just to see uh, some iconic scenes and characters that you've seen in the game uh, appear in the maze. I I'm super stoked for this one. Uh, you know me. I I we were watching the show religiously, and uh, the show did not fail. The show was phenomenal. The game is phenomenal. So let's go down and see what this press release has to say of what Horror Nights has to say about the property coming to the event this year. And then we'll give more thoughts of it after. So let's 
break down here. Universal Studios Halloween Horror Nights dares guests to survive The Last of Us as Naughty Dog and PlayStation's award-winning post-pandemic video game comes to life for the first time as an all-new haunted house at Universal Orlando Resort beginning Friday, September 1st and Universal Studios Hollywood beginning Thursday, September 2nd. I'm sorry, September 7th. 7th, 7th. Um, <laughs> yeah, 7th. Not 2nd, 7th. Um, set in a ravaged civilization where infected and um, hardened survivors run rampant, Naughty Dog and PlayStation's The Last of Us video game, which celebrates its 10th anniversary this year, has captivated audience since its release. And now guests can immerse themselves in a real-life experience that puts them directly into the game's frightening world. The Last of Us haunted house on both coasts will... Uh, propel guests into a world of carnage and mayhem as they follow in the footsteps of the game's protagonists, Joel and Ellie, who endure a brutal journey in a world awakened by a fungal virus that turns humans into various forms of a new threat known as the infected. As guests encounter the infected, runners, stalkers, and clickers, along with the hunters, a band of hostile humans, they will need to navigate to the Pittsburgh quarantine zone including iconic locations from the video game such as the creepy and um, desolate the hotel grand and a labyrinth what I was just laughing because you went well no because like my computer okay so like quick thing I get it up my computer is like very small and I have you on a different screen so it's like I'm kind of trying to read it so I'm trying to make sure I'm saying the words right uh, the hotel I, grand, I feel that pain yeah right the hotel grand in a labyrinth of dark, uh, a, the labyrinth of dark and dark tunnels in a uh, desperate attempt to escape and survive, and we got a little quote here. Uh, our little um, someone uh, someone quoted something today. As a massive fan and a frequent attendee of Halloween Horror Nights, we are honored to have The Last of Us included in this year's lineup. It has been an incredible thrill for us at Naughty Dog to collaborate with Universal, bringing the world of the game to life, focusing on even the thinnest tiniest details that our fans know so well naughty dog co-president neil Druckmann said having just celebrated the 10th anniversary of the last of us it's a perfect time for our fans to team up with joel and ellie and come face to face with clickers raiders and much more we are excited to be bringing the last of us to life at in a terrifying haunted house that is true to the spirit of its popular video game featuring the heroes joel and ellie clickers and more said laura Sowles, assistant director creative development and show direction at Universal Resort. The world inside the game offers a, ma a multitude of suspenseful and horrifying opportunities to provide guests with one-of-a-kind experience that can only be found at Halloween Horror Nights, added John Murdy, executive producer at Halloween Horror Nights, Universal Studios, Hollywood. So that was the official kind of press release. There is uh, information about tickets here, but we are gonna be doing a separate video breaking down every ticket uh, and what's best for you to buy for the event. But man, just hearing the excitement between Naughty Dog and Universal and John Murdy of bringing this property to life just kind of gets me stoked to make me think that this might be the one maze that they go all out on for sure, like how they did with The weekend last year. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, I definitely understand what you mean. Um, I think based upon where the speculation maps are saying where this might be ending up um, is it might be ending up in the former Walking Dead attraction, which last year obviously housed um, Universal Horror Hotel or whatever that may have been called, yeah, aka Evil Dead Rise. If yep. you know, you know. You know, you know. Uh, um, so I think it's a great location. Um, really gets to allow them to do different things, um, especially because the last one basically takes place over an entire year. So some of the things that I can look forward to them hopefully being able to do is like anytime there's a scene that may be in the winter, you might be going walking into a colder room, whereas the summer might be a little bit warmer um, and things of that sort. Um, and I'm really just hoping to see some really cool clickers. Um, I know that they're probably going to be using a lot of the same costuming that they use for like the Demogorgons and Stranger Things. Um, as old since it is a very similar aesthetic um, so i'm excited to see that i'm really what i'm probably most excited for is the soundtrack that's going to be used in this um just that eeriness of the clickers in the background as you're venturing and turning around tight corners is going to be magnificent uh i can't think of I can't, I'm, I'm at a loss for words just to be honest i was just super excited to see this uh come i know that it was heavily rumored um some rumors were last year 
it might have been coming. And then obviously this year there were some rumors. Obviously it's coming. Now we know for sure it's coming. Um, and then baseball, like on my, you know, I've been busy at work all day recording this during my lunch. Um, but baseball, what I've been seeing on Twitter as I've been scrolling through is like, I guess Mike Aiello, who's over at, uh, over at Orlando and uh, the, the team over at Naughty Dog, they were in conversation early on. Um, and it's been like a work in progress for a little while. Um, and, and I know that this is a, a fun announcement for everyone that's a fan of the series on the 10th year, on the 10 year anniversary. Um, there were some rumors that just speaking in the video game world, that there was going to be a multiplayer game announced, but that's since then been postponed and no real in- timetable given. So on the heels of its 10 year, I think this is a perfect announcement, perfect time to be doing this um, as well. Cause you know, everyone's been captivated by the show. Obviously this isn't going to be based upon the show, but you know, you have a lot of those people that may know this property from the show, um, people that have known it from the video game. So I, I think it's going to be a really big thing. I think it's going to be better than the weekend because we're probably not going to have to sit in a queue of the music. And I know Tony's real excited about that one. Um, Very. So I will wait three hours for the last of us. I will. I do not want to wait three hours for any maze at this point in my life. <laughs> but if I had to, I'd I probably would. would. I would. For the last of us, I would. Yeah, I just don't – just full transparency. I don't plan on going to Horror Nights more than one night this season. I don't think just it's me either. <laughs> It's just so expensive, um, and so I'll ideally be getting Express. We'll be t- I, I, as Tony mentioned, we'll be talking about ticket- tickets a little bit later down the road, uh, but I definitely think it's worth the wait. Um, it, it's probably going to be one of, if not my most anticipated house, probably two or three. Uh, but uh, that's unless I mean, Universal Monsters gets uh, announced, and he's going to be like, "That's number one right there." You already know, and if you watch that teaser, they said a 32 second mark. If you watch back to the okay. other teaser, so let's, let's way talk back about that. Then this move, they said at 32 seconds something happened. So I rewatched the video at 32 seconds. This logo appears on her computer screen as it yes. glitches out as like something of like they're talking about a legend of some sort. Like they keep talking about this person. So are we getting an icon for both? Are we gonna start doing, you know? cross uh cross uh promotional icons like are we gonna have them on east coast like what's happening this year there's a lot of there's a lot of speculation we haven't gotten an announcement for halloween hornets until um october 31st of last year which was halloween they announced chucky was going to be coming to the event uh in a new maze now today fast forward all the way to june we have our second announcement, which is The Last of Us. Um, like Sammy said, video games phenomenal, shows phenomenal. I even feel like if you didn't watch, or if you didn't play the video game and you watch the show, it's essentially the same thing. There was minor changes to cer- certain characters that actually bettered the characters. So I feel like the show did a really good job of like kind of redeeming themselves again. Um, but the video game is just phenomenal. What I'm excited for, and this is something that I'm a fan of the video game, is just visually how beautiful the area looks when you're playing the game to see like kind of a rundown city, just like buildings falling kind of, and they're just kind of held in place there. And then, you know, you have abandoned buildings like everywhere else, destroyed stuff. Like it's just visually stunning when you're walking through it. So I'm kind of hoping that we get teleported into that reality with this maze and, and they kind of do something similar where they simulate you know, the building kind of tipped over on the side right there or something, or we walk into, like, an abandoned building to look for loot, or we're walking into the subway stations underwater. You know what I mean? Like, there are certain moments in these games that I would love to see, but regardless, I think whatever they deliver us with is going to be great. And the fact that it's based on the actual video game by Naughty Dog is awesome. I mean, they just remastered that game, and it looks phenomenal. I know that uh, you you mentioned that a multiplayer game was probably in the works. They're also in the works on early development for story for Last of Us Part Three. Um, so I'm excited to see where that is going to go after the events of Last of Us Part Two, which we're not going to get into because it is uh, a little bit spoilerly. So we're just going to talk about Last of Us Part One here. Um, so I'm I'm stoked. I cannot wait. I I really I love the characters of Joel and Ellie. Um, whether they're played by Pedro Pascal and 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 I don't I forget the other little girl's name that played her in the show, but Ashley Johnson and Troy Baker voiced them and played them in the video game and they did a phenomenal job. So hopefully to get to see them. Bella Ramsey. The name Bella is Bella Ramsey. Ramsey. Bella Ramsey. I had to go through an entire encyclopedia yeah. in my head. Bella Ramsey. Bella Ramsey played Ellie and she did phenomenal in that role as well. Um, so I'm hoping what would be cool is if we got both voice actors and actors to come to the red carpet. 
uh, experience The Last of Us, especially with it blowing up TV this uh, this year so far, um, and just just being one of those shows and and properties that a lot of people have a lot of joy and and love and and can relate to. So I'm super stoked for this. Uh, the trailers showing some eerie shit. So we're going to keep an eye on that for sure in the next trailers. Because if you pause it exactly at 32 seconds when the guy says you got to pause it at 32 seconds, you do see a little like symbol on the on the uh, computer as it's glitching. Don't know what the symbol is. Don't know what the, the, the symbol means, what it contains. But it's got to have something to do with the overall theming of this year. Uh, I can I could tell we're finally approaching announcement season. Uh, Knots has been announcing a lot of stuff. Midsummer Scream has been lo- announcing a lot of stuff. Halloween Horror Nights is, is back on the saddle announcing stuff. It's only a matter of time before Six Flags, Hayride, all these other haunts start announcing stuff. But we will guarantee to get you all that news when we get it first I'll be right here on the Knights of Horror. Uh, so go ahead and hit that subscribe button with that bell notification be where every time we put up a video because you're not going to want to miss out. It's looking to be a great haunt season this year. 30th anniversary of Six Flags. 50th anniversary of Not Scary Farm. A stacked lineup potentially at Halloween Horror Nights this year. And the list goes on and on. Um, Sammy, anything else you want to share with that excitement? Yeah, stay tuned. Um, we got a lot coming. Probably, like like Tony said, these announcements are going to be coming. Boom, 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 boom. So stay tuned. Put those bell notifications on um, and, and follow us on socials because that's what we're going to be posting our updates in real time. Obviously, these videos might be take a little bit longer just because uh, it's, it's a little bit more work. Um, but well, we um, both so, have full time jobs. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So stay tuned. Um, but we will we'll do our best to keep you all updated as quick as possible. Um, and I think we got something special for our audience, don't we? We do. So today uh, we were lucky enough to be blessed with a promo code for you guys. Um, 20% off general admission tickets for Midsummer Scream. Use code Knights of Horror at checkout for 20% off up until July 1st. You can get your tickets. We want to see you guys at Midsummer Scream. We want you guys to enjoy the vibes. It's looking like it's going to be another stacked Midsummer Scream, and you're not going to want to miss that HHN panel. You're not going to want to miss that Knots panel, that 13th floor um, panel. You're not going to want to miss the freaking uh what else we got six flags panel they're kind of some good the, stuff uh, the lost boys minus alex winters hey you know what we're lost, recorded prior boys. yeah lots boys are gonna be there yeah it's okay i i kind of saved him for that one i i edited alex winter's name out so you didn't even say it oh i didn't oh, okay I, I just skimmed through it i didn't have time to watch uh, but we got a lot of stuff coming up, so stay tuned. Like Sammy said, follow our socials to keep uh, an eye out for news in real time, and we will do our best to get a video out uh, either the same day or the next day, uh, more than likely the next day. But uh, we want to thank you guys for coming. We are excited for Halloween Horror Nights, and we cannot wait. Uh, be sure to stay tuned because we got a lot of great content coming in the next week about uh, around Las Vegas, and we have another HHN video in the future for you guys, so stay tuned. With all that being said, it's been fun. It's been real fun. I don't know what I'm saying. I don't know. You were gonna say something, so I stopped. Oh, I was right. gonna. Oh, I was gonna say. I was gonna give him the HHN slogan: "Never go alone." Never go alone, because you know, see you in the fog was was taken. Peace, <laughs> peace. I'm wearing a Hellfire Club hat too. I'm wearing a Hellfire hat to, uh, cap well, too. Well, well, no, no, that's Hawkins. I don't even think they have baseball in Hawkins. Um...